For decades, scandal has been not the exception, but the rule at Fauci's National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. In 1991, the Office of Government Ethics investigated Dr. Fauci's NIAID for ethical violations pertaining to government employees moonlighting in private industry without proper oversight. The investigation concluded that some activities appeared to be approved without adequate documentation. And Fauci's malfeasance extended far beyond America's national borders. In January 2002, after the FDA had threatened to send inspectors to investigate reports of ethical violations in an AIDS study conducted by NIAID in Uganda, the German pharmaceutical giant Boehringer Ingelheim sent its own investigators with a promise to share the findings with the agency. Boehringer concluded that Fauci's study was in serious non-compliance with FDA regulations, including failure to disclose serious risks to the study participants. So here's me, it's a doc, you can't see it, making rounds in a hospital in Kampala. These African doctors were me in 1981. In an effort to stave off a formal FDA investigation, Fauci's NIAID hired a private consulting group, Westat, to compile their own report on the study. But Westat's conclusions were just as damning as Boehringer's. In some ways, they were worse. The inspectors uncovered a loss of critical records at the Kampala study site, including a ledger that had logged the injuries and deaths suffered by study participants. A couple of years later, in 2004, an internal NIH review described Fauci's AIDS research team as managers who seemed unaware of the need for appropriate behavior, decorum, and enforcement of good management practices and rules of supervision. In 2005, an Associated Press review discovered that Fauci's agency had funded research that tested AIDS drugs on hundreds of foster children. At least 10 children died, and while the researchers refused to attribute the deaths directly to the drug they were testing, they had to admit that overall mortality while receiving the study drug was significantly higher and that this finding remains unexplained. While such unexplained deaths and missing records about those deaths raise troubling questions about Dr. Fauci's ethics and leadership, most of the scandals that have occurred on the celebrity bureaucrat's watch revolve around a more prosaic subject. Cold, hard, cash. There are going to be resources that are going to have to be forthcoming to be able to implement the kinds of things that I think are going to be needed. In 2003, Dr. Fauci redirected $117 million away from infectious disease research toward the development of a new anthrax vaccine. The following year, Fauci directed a whopping $5.6 billion appropriation for bioterrorism research as part of Project BioShield, which was, at that time, the largest single-issue spend in NIH history. Project BioShield is a three-pronged program. It increases the authorities and flexibilities of the NIH to expedite research. It establishes a secure funding source to purchase countermeasures, and it establishes an FDA emergency use authorization. Still, despite all those billions of dollars, four years later, the government pulled the plug on the project. Fauci had failed to develop a new anthrax vaccine, and later even echoed the concerns of his critics, who believed the project was a waste of money that directed attention away from other more urgent threats to the public. At the end of the day, Fauci finally admitted, you're not going to kill as many people in an anthrax attack as you would if you blasted off a couple of car bombs in Times Square. If you put your money with smallpox vaccine, this vaccine, that vaccine, while you're doing that, you should be pushing for something that's more broad. And that gets under the category of the basic research as well as the applied... Spending the money that you can is how use. government bureaucrats protect their power and positions. In business, a CEO might be rewarded for saving money on fruitless endeavors and reinvesting those funds in more profitable enterprises. In administrative government, saving money just means you get your budget cut. So after Fauci's failure to develop a vaccine to fight AIDS, and after his failure to develop a new vaccine to fight anthrax, 
the politically savvy bureaucrats spent the following decade promoting wild goose chase after wild goose chase to further enhance his influence and power. <laughs> 